Now then, today we are trying to catch the fish that changed my life. Can we do it? Let's find out. I am of course talking about the salmon, one of the most elusive, hard fighting fish in UK waters and today I'm going to be pulling out all the stops to catch one before the season finishes. Right at the end, right at the end, that's a big fish. Now I'll be telling you the story about how the salmon actually changed the course of my life forever a little later on in the video but for now I'm eager to start catching some fish. Right, cast number one of the day. Let's see if there's a salmon under this bridge, should we? Fish on, fish on. What have we got? What have we got here? Oh, it's not a salmon. Doesn't feel like a bad fish though, to be fair to it. Looks like a nice trout. Let's get it in and have a look, should we? And the hooks come out in the net, which is always a, a positive. Look at that for a beautiful fish. I just cannot believe how beautiful these trout are. I mean, look at that. What a stunning fish. Off it goes. Well, I tell you what, it's not the salmon we're after, but that's a fairly decent trout by my standards. So that's a good start to the day regardless. Well, at least we haven't blanked, but We've still got to somehow find these salmon, which on this river are very, very hard to find and catch, but my hopes are high. Well, this next part of the river I'm heading down to now is hot spot number one. I have got a really good chance at a good fish here. I mean, salmon fishing is far from guaranteed, but as far as it goes, this place is one of my best chances all day. I do have a few other tricks up my sleeve for later, but for now, I'm so excited about this one. Well, here we go. This is the place I was telling you about. Look at that. Look at all the depth, all the structure. This place definitely holds big fish. Let's try and get one. Well, you can see why this spot's a hot spot for the migratory fish. Just gotta hope that we come across one. I'm fairly sure there'll be one in here. It's just a matter of catching it. So my plan is to cast and basically cover every square inch of this pool because I'm sure there's going to be a big fish in here somewhere. Cover it twice in fact. Fish on, fish on. What is that? What is that? What do we have here? What do we have? It's not come up yet. Feels a little bigger than a trout. <gasps> No way. We've got a salmon on, I think. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, do we? Or is that a big sea trout? What is that? What on earth is that? Oh, my days. Holy moly. Oh, oh, oh. My heart's in my mouth. It's a big fish, whatever it is. I just want to see what you are. I just want to see what you are. Stay away from that edge. Oh, it's smart. It's smart. It's going for the edges. Stay out of there. Oh, oh, I'm shaking. What are you, my friend? What are you? I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. Oh, it's big. Tie yourself out. Come on. Easy does it. And we've got it. We've got it in the net. What? It's a trout. No way is that a trout. Well, I'm absolutely shaking with adrenaline. What I just caught was a monstrous trout. I honestly really, really thought it was a salmon. That was the biggest trout I've caught out of this river ever and one of the biggest of my life. Let me show you. I did have to take this one out of the water because I'm on quite a steep bank, but it went straight back off after this short little clip. Oh, well, I'm in awe of that fish. I didn't get as much time to uh, admire it as I'd have liked just because I really wanted to get it off back quickly. 
but what a fish that was i'd have much 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 preferred it to be a salmon though so the hunt continues for a fish that was even bigger than that well the first half of the day couldn't have gone much better to be honest i mean it could have done i could have caught a salmon but i'll take a massive trout like that i'm just gonna nip back to the car jump in drive back to the club i'll swap stretches and try a different part of this river hopefully for a big salmon So we just got down to the second stretch of river, another lovely place with some really nice deep pools in. Hopefully it's gonna be salmon time soon. So the good thing about this stretch of river is that there are plenty of decent chub in here and they are unlike trout in season. So I would have no complaints at all at a big chub. Fish on. Ooh. Oh, it looks like just a trout. I think I tried to set the hook just as it was jumping out the water then. Steady on, tiger. I want to get you on your way as quick as possible. Ugh. Well, it's no monstrous fish like the last one, but it's another lovely looking little trout. Let's get him on his way, should we? Off he goes. I am so eager for a salmon, it is unbelievable. This is probably my last chance before the season ends. I might have one more attempt left, but there's a couple of really nice pools just around that corner that I'm off to next. Well, unfortunately nothing in those two pools, but I've still got plenty of tricks up my sleeve, plenty of places to try. But it has started raining, which has put a bit of a dampener on things, if you pardon the pun. Well, while I'm trying to take a bit of refuge from this downpour of rain, it might be a good idea to tell you exactly how the salmon changed my life. So I was fishing one day. There comes a time in everyone's life, probably, where one coincidence, one happening, one split-second decision sort of changes the direction of what you're up to. And um, that happened when I caught this salmon. So I caught this fish about four or five years ago and I decided that's quite a nice fish. I'm gonna get more into my fishing. Then I decided to make an Instagram page where I'd share some of my fishing pictures, which led me to go fishing more, which led me to decide to make my first ever YouTube video. And now thanks to my brilliant audience, everyone who's watching at home, I am able to do this part-time as a job now. And um, I couldn't ask for a better lifestyle really. I know I am squat down behind a spiky bush getting soaking wet, but. There's nowhere I'd rather be, and there's nothing I'd rather be doing than this. Well, it doesn't look like this rain's stopping anytime soon, so I'm just going to get stuck in and bite the bullet. Yeah, it's crazy, isn't it? Our one moment can change so much. I was actually fishing with my stepbrother at the time. He was going to go first, but decided to have his chicken sandwich instead, so I had a cast, and then bang. If he'd have had that chicken sandwich at home or decided to have it a bit later, then... Who knows, this whole story could have been different. Fish on. Oh, I think it's another trout. Either that or it's the world's smallest salmon. Let's get him dealt with. Look at that. It's no giant, especially considering what we caught before, but it's another beautiful wild brownie. I just cannot get enough of those fish. What on earth's that? Disposable vape. Wonder if there's any left in it. My lucky day, isn't it? No, I'm just joking. I am going to take this home though because, um, the last thing I want is a battery from something like this down by the river. I will pop you in the bin later. Well, still no salmon, 
If you're wondering why I'm using spinners rather than like flying seas or tobies, it's because that's all I've been using for the last two months and I've not caught any salmon. So with these low sort of gentle, clear water conditions, I think a more finesse approach is needed. That said, I did still manage to catch some nice fish on the salmon lures, so suppose now is a good time as any to show you them. First one was on a toby. That's actually a, a very nice looking trout. Look at the shine on that. And the second one was on a flying sea. Fish, fish. Oh, what is it? What is it? Oh, what is that? Is it a salmon? It feels like a nice one. Oh, it does feel like a nice fish. Oh, what could this be? What could this be? Oh, it's a big trout. It's a very big trout. Oh, could it be? Could it even be a sea trout? Oh, what on earth is this? What on earth have we got? Oof. And he's in the net, come on. Well, this is the first trout I've caught in a long time that I would describe as being a trophy wild fish. This is simply incredible. Look at that. What an absolute beauty of a fish that is. Cool. Look at it. Wow. Look at that for an absolute beauty of a wild trout. Almost thought it was a salmon coming in. Well, I hope you enjoyed those short little clips. I never like to let a bit of content go to waste, but yeah, that's literally all I'd caught. I've blanked about five times for salmon this year so far. Well, just heading around to the next spot now, somewhere I've never tried before, which is exciting. Whoa, look at that. That's a pretty big hole. Any guesses to what lives down there? Definitely looks big enough for a fox to get in and out of. This is far more painful than I bargained for. Look, there's thorns all around me. I'll be picking them out my ass for the next week at this rate, but yeah. Thanks for choosing to watch this video, by the way. And if you are enjoying it, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Plenty more exciting content coming soon. Well, after a very long time of whacking my way through bushes, we have arrived at what feels like a, an extremely deep swim that I've never fished before. Have to say I am absolutely adoring using this rod today. It's handling whatever the day chucks at me. This is the Rigged and Ready X5 Adventure Travel Rod. It packs down into a really, really small case if you haven't seen this before. All sorts of different tips as well with loads of different cast weights. Great bit of kit. Caught a 10 pound catfish on it the other day, so hopefully it'll manage a salmon too if I get lucky. Fish, what have we got swimming towards me? What have we got here? What have we got? Oh, that's a big one. Right at the end, right at the end, that's a big fish. What is it though? What is it? Oh, it's diving from the side. It's a chub, I think. I think it's a big chub. That is a big chub. I knew this was chub territory around here. And we've got it, get in. Yes. Well, with the addition of this decent chub, I've now caught everything pretty much apart from a salmon. Just gonna get this one back quite quick, but look at that absolute beauty. Well, unfortunately we didn't manage a salmon today, but we did catch some cracking fish. That's all we got time for today. Thank you very much for watching as always, and hopefully I'll see you back here again soon. I'll catch you down the road.